what is the exact information needed to file a patent for my invention in other words how to create an invention disclosure when you decide to file a patent application for your invention the very next question you have is what is exact information needed to file my patent application and you may have further questions like is developing a prototype or a working model of my invention is necessary or can i file a patent application without developing a working model how do i write all the details about my invention what is expected where should i start it may be sometimes really challenging and intimidating to look at the blank paper and think where should i start and what should i write in this video we are going to solve this problem but before we begin the steps and process for creating a complete invention disclosure let us understand the purpose of the invention disclosure the purpose of the invention disclosure an important objective of the invention disclosure that you would be writing is to help patent attorney or a patent agent to understand your invention completely in other words the patent attorney should be able to stand in your shoes and see all the details of your invention to be able to draft or write a good patent application such that it will provide the broadest possible protection for your invention it is important to note that since a patent attorney or intellectual property firm signs a non disclosure agreement that is nda with the inventor before proceeding with the invention disclosure step so your confidentiality would be maintained by the patent attorney at all levels hence you need not worry about privacy of your invention we need implementable details of the invention to be able to be an enabling disclosure now what we mean by enabling disclosure of the invention an enabling disclosure of the invention is such a detailed information about your invention that when you give it to a person skilled in the art that person should be able to implement or practice the invention without needing to perform any additional research in simple language we need just enough information about your invention such that a person from the same field that is of your subject matter should be able to implement or practice the invention without any difficulty or without needing to do any research what does an enabling invention disclosure or implementable details look like we receive the invention disclosure in many forms depending upon the type of invention the information available with the inventor at that point of time and the stage of invention we have received the invention disclosure in following forms as a project report or a technical document covering all aspects of the invention as a presentation or a ppt with technical details included as a hand drawn sketches or rough sketches or drawings of the device and its explanation as a video or a screen recording on a computer as a video of a device or a tool or the invention explaining how it functions or the invention disclosure could be meeting notes of the meeting that you would have with a patent attorney for discussing the invention any other relevant form in which the information about invention is communicated to patent agent or attorney it is clear from the list above that the form of information to communicate the invention disclosure can be varied as per your preference of means or medium however there are few things you need to consider while creating a comprehensive invention disclosure what is my innovative idea or invention how does it work what problem my invention is solving what are the advantages of my invention over the others what are the elements or the components of my invention how do they function can i draw a block diagram or a device or flow chart or sketch that can explain my invention in a better way what part of my invention is novel that is new what part of my invention is having inventive step that is having either technical advance or economic significance or both what are replaceable components or elements of my invention can my invention be practiced in different ways that is 
do my invention have any possible embodiments you may not be knowing answers to all of these questions but try to write as many answers of these questions as you can to be able to come up with a complete invention disclosure sometimes when you miss important information about the invention that is inventive step the patent attorney or patent agent working on your invention would get back to you and ask for additional details about your invention this is the most important step from your side that is from the inventor side in the entire patent process hence the information needs to be carefully submitted another frequently asked question is do i need to create a prototype or a working model of my invention before i can file patent application in most cases almost 99% of time the working model or a prototype of the invention is not required if the invention is well described in a patent application with enabling disclosure and the inventive step is clearly communicated over prior arts then in most cases the working model would not be required to be able to get the patent grant now we are assuming here the patent application is completely disclosing implementable details and the best mode known to the inventor or applicant at the time of filing this patent application in a very rare case if the examiner or the controller from the patent office would need to see the working model of the invention before granting the patent then such request would be communicated to you the applicant and specific time would be allocated to you to come up with a prototype or a working model of the invention but such scenarios are very rare hence if you have sufficient implementable details ready with you then you don't need to build a prototype or a working model and you may proceed with the patent filing for your invention generally the patent attorney or intellectual property firms have a questionnaire document to help you in getting the right information about the invention it is called invention disclosure form conclusion writing a complete invention disclosure is not about its specific format but it is about the implementable details of your invention which should clearly communicate the inventive step to the patent attorney so that he or she can write a patent application to best protect your invention so even a two page document with sufficient details about your invention and even hand drawn sketches or drawings can still be a complete invention disclosure provided it has implementable details about your invention i hope the information in this video helped you in understanding how to create the complete invention disclosure and what exact information needed to proceed with the patent application for more information on patents you may visit patentinindia.com thank you for your time take care